So Ronnie O'Sullivan and Sean Murphy about to get underway again, level at five all. Here in Shanghai, 200,000 to the winner, 100,000 to the runner-up. It's effectively now best of 11. It's first to 11 to be champion. It's Ronnie O'Sullivan to restart. He was 3-0 down in the first session, but fought back. And we're all square as we get underway. Sean Murphy's last title came two years ago, the champion of champions. He beat O'Sullivan in the final. It's one of only three victories against him. O'Sullivan's beaten him 11 times, but it's all about the next few hours, the next few frames to decide the winner. And uh, it's set up nicely, Joe. Yeah, it certainly is. I mean, it was tremendous snooker this morning. And both players playing superbly. A great shot from Sean Murphy. Ronnie O'Sullivan played that break off with a lot of right hand side on the cue ball to swing it past the green. But he's left one sticking out. He got the cue ball more or less where he wanted it. And that great long pot just got him one point. I think this afternoon, Ronnie O'Sullivan, he pinched that last frame to go five each. It could so easily have been six four. Sean Murphy. Missed a relatively easy yellow with the rest. Normally so reliable with the rest, but on this occasion he missed the yellow <coughs> and it allowed O'Sullivan to level things up and what a big frame it was. Well, that's a mistake. He was planning to land a pin to the reds, but all that left-hand side on the cue ball swung it wide. Sean Murphy, who had such a disappointing season last season, and whatever happens in the final, <coughs> from just three tournaments this season, he would have earned more prize money than, than he did the whole of last season. So it just shows you he's made an immediate return to form. Of course, the final in Daqing, and now here as well. Yes, it's so important to keep the belief in yourself when things are going against you. One of the most difficult things to do. And it's great to see him playing at the top of his form again. Oh, as it held up the black, he's been a little fortunate there, to say the least. He was on nothing at all until the black came down the table there. And he's on it. He was trying to screw the cue ball out for the pink or blue. Well, of course, that's the other factor, isn't it? We know how good these two are and what they've won, but a little bit of running at the right time can make a big difference. Eight. Nine. Murphy uh, had that tough second round match with Mark Williams that he won in a decider, but all these other victories have been pretty comprehensive. A couple of six ones and then 10-3 in the semis against Allen. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. 16. He's playing exceptionally well. Seventeen. He has five centuries in the tournament, although his highest break so far today is 68. Yeah, it's the clearances he's been getting that's made the difference. And he's had the chance, he's punished heavily. And when he takes this red, it releases another one to the opposite corner. 24. Well, deserves something for that great long red, that great opening long red. 25. Now, may well play the cannon to those two reds, just above the black to the right. Preferably the one nearest the pink, that one. Although that didn't work out as planned. He was expecting to be straight on the red to the left corner. 32. Had he caught it full in the face, he'd have been on it. So the first little mini crisis in this break.
and it stayed out. So, so 33 points, he'd have been looking for more than that. Now, does this red go to the left corner? Yes, it does. One. So O'Sullivan with his chance and the perfect angle to go into that cluster of five reds. Didn't need to go into them hard, but now it's O'Sullivan's turn. Not to be on anything. Six. Oh, he wonders how he's not on a red here, and so do I. Maybe on a tough red to the middle. No, he's not on that either. So just the safety, and even the safety is not easy. He's got to come in behind this red. Well, nice little angle. It could have been somewhere near that right corner. Very unfortunate, and Sullivan going into the pack of reds, not being on anything. There is a possible plant to the left corner. He's had a look at that, but doesn't fancy it. Remember, this is O'Sullivan's first tournament of the season. We were wondering what sort of shape he'd be in. A pretty comfortable first round win over Zhang Yi, a wild card. But uh, then, of course, it was 5 1 down to Karen Wilson. As he finds one. Oh. And didn't he find a good one? But look where the cue ball is, just in case he missed it. He covered the red over that right corner pocket with that good pot and safety. And then now a chance to put. Well, he's missed the snooker. He hasn't left anything on, as far as I can see. But he'll be disappointed at missing the snooker there. Yes, unfortunately, the uh, local television director also missed it. He was looking at the crowd, but uh, we see the result there. Didn't get in behind the brown. Wasn't far away, tried to take that cue ball back into a safe area, but that kiss on the red has left this red on. Now, could play for the black here. If it's too hard, it'd be on the pink. Well, it wasn't far away, was it? Didn't look like he was going to cover the red anyway. Yep, nicely on the pink. And, well, you've got to say that this is a, a great chance to take this opening frame this evening. Whoa! Amazing. Amazing. Well, that will give all snooker players of whatever ability hope if Ronnie O'Sullivan can miss that. But maybe a sign of the early nerves in this session. Obviously, they've had a little bit of time between sessions, about two and a half hours, and we both know this is where it really matters now, this final session of the final. One. Well, really is a great chance. It should have been O'Sullivan's, but you've got to pop them. No matter how easy they are, those middle pockets... A dynamite, they've got to be in. Yeah, there's been quite a few Seven. frames in this match where the player who really should have won the frame didn't. 
its uh, potential to be, I think, very close and exciting all the way through. Murphy looking to get back in front. Eight. Trailed today uh, just once. That was 4-3. Of course, he lost four on the spin, having won the first three frames of the final. Fourteen. Thirty-nine the difference. So he's not going to need that difficult red next to the black. I'm not sure if it does go, but he's not going to need it. These two loose reds would be enough. Twenty-one. Well, when he saw that red in the jaws of the pocket and then saw O'Sullivan get on the pink, he must have thought, here we go. But an unexpected miss from Ronnie O'Sullivan has let him in. And O'Sullivan now needs a snooker. Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. Looks like this red will go to the left corner. Thirty-four. Thirty-five. That would not have gone on a club table. <laughs> but this but is a quick cloth, isn't it? Well, that's the speedy. He had to play that to stay on the red. And he just about stayed on it. What a judge. And looking good. Did miss that red to the green pocket. Which let O'Sullivan in with a chance. 48. One thing you've got to do at this level is punish, and O'Sullivan didn't do that. 51. Murphy did the second time around. 51. Don't think there's going to be a lot of safety in this match. 55. Sean Murphy's won 22 professional titles of various stripes. If he were to win this one, I think it would be one of the most Six. special because, of course, it comes off the back of a real slump last season. Eight first-round defeats and ranking events. All a distant memory right now as he takes the opening frame of the evening. 66. 66 then 66 from the Sean frame. Murphy. Ronnie O'Sullivan had a good chance. He missed that pink to the left middle. And Murphy did the rest. And Sean Murphy back in front here in Shanghai leading by six frames to five. Remember, it's 11 the target to become champion. From 12, Sean Murphy to break. Sean Murphy back in front here in the seesaw battle in Shanghai, 6-5. As he breaks off in frame 12. O'Sullivan, remember, has won his last 13 matches in Shanghai. Michael Holt, the last man to beat him in 2016 in this tournament. And it was a close final last year. Barry Hawkins uh, actually led halfway 6 4. O'Sullivan won 11 9. Wasn't far away. And that's the place where he needed to be to be able to pot the black. Hasn't left anything easy for Sean here. There's a thin cut to the left corner, which he's looked at. And also a thin cut to the left middle, 
red doesn't go to the green uh, to the yellow pocket so decisions to make you can play the easy safety but well that's not the easy safety I was thinking of yet it's safe but he could be in trouble next shot give away the safety advantage there why not skim off the red in the middle of the table into the park area should have missed the brown and now the brown and green a big target Players catching green or brown. But still a big target to get him behind. Considering taking the pot on, but thought better of it. Doesn't want to hand an easy chance to O'Sullivan. And this looks good. It's a good safety, this. Not quite a snooker. A good safety. Well, that had to be the paint. And anxious looks there from Ronnie O'Sullivan. He's left a thin cut to the right corner. Could have been worse because the cue ball going into the reds with no guarantee of being on a colour if he takes it on. He's got an easy safety to try and get in behind the brown. But playing the aggressive shot. And a good shot it was too. It was a red to the middle. So he's in again first. Eight. Oh, phone going off in the background. He's made five maximum breaks, Sean Murphy. Nine. As opposed to fifteen from O'Sullivan. Chance to maybe open a couple more reds here. Just a little bit harder than that. 16. You look guaranteed to be on these two reds. 17. But maybe another chance here. Just nudge. Her. Doesn't have to go into them too hard. Just nudge another two or three reds out. And just like that. And that's developed another three or four reds there, that shot. Three reds, three blacks. Twenty-five. Well, all the years we've been coming to Shanghai, I've only had three maximums actually. Jamie Cope 
2008, John Higgins in the final, 2012, Steve Maguire, 2016. Ice break this year so far, 142, Barry Hawkins. Now, is he on a red to get back to the black? The safest red to play for would be to take him to the blue. Just depends if he's thinking maximum or not, or the frame. Well, the thing is, th there's no price for a maximum now, is there? So Unless there's 20 in a season and a million pounds gets split up between everybody. You know, if there's 50 grand or something for a maximum, you might have gone for it there, but mm. more sensible to try and nail the frame. And in a funny way, that bonus could actually deter people going for 147s because they think, well, there's never going to be 20. Mm. Yeah, quite right. 38. As you say, could could have easily gone for the maximum there. Had a red to the left middle. But the frame, very important. There's £200,000 for the winner. £100,000 difference between winner and loser. Yeah, and from Murphy's point of view, although he is back in form, clearly he doesn't just want to be getting to finals. The way to really underline the fact that he's back to his best is to win a big tournament. Certainly. Great yeah. chance to win this frame. Yeah, lovely amount of side he had on the cue ball there to bring him nicely onto the black. He couldn't have judged that any better. That was a difficult shot with reverse side on the cue ball. 46. I think what's encouraging as well for Murphy is that he earned this chance from a good safety, 47. which has been a side of his game. I know he's been working on practising with Fergal O'Brien in Dublin. It's toughened him up. O'Sullivan uh, caught the jaws of the corner pocket, left a red to the middle. But as I said in the last frame, there's been a number of frames today where you think either player's going to win it and then something happens. He's got to nail this now. Well, he played a little kiss there, but he didn't come off, but he's still on the red to both middles, but hampered over reds. Doesn't seem 55. to bother Sean if he's hampered or not. Sixth. Well, of course, O'Sullivan had a golden chance to win the first frame of the night. Missed the pink to the left middle. Sixty-one. Yes, and another red and a colour after this blue. And he could find himself two frames behind. Looking at the green, but it looks like he can screw the blue in, come round the two cushions. Avoid the reds. No oh, miscue. Uh -huh. so and although he hasn't left anything, one. he hasn't won the frame. Incredible, isn't it? Of course, yesterday we saw Neil Robertson. A vicious miscue that damaged his tip. Well, hopefully Murphy's not damaged his tip, but he also has not won the frame. This could be tasty. This could be tasty. Well, amazing, isn't it? You know, 30 seconds ago, Murphy looked a certainty to win the frame. Now, he snooker behind the brown, reds everywhere, in trouble, even though he's leading by 61, the 75 still on. Yeah, the score really doesn't count at this level. It does, but not as much as it does in the club. I'll uh, be trying to land up to that red nearest the black cushion. The one nearest the middle pocket is also an option if you can't get to that red. But 
These are the frames that could hurt if you lose them. Now well, that's what he's looking at, this red on the black cushion. He's got to find the gap between the reds. Doesn't want to make contact with any of the other reds to get to that red. Decided to play for that red nearest the middle pocket. Trying to just land up to it. And he's done that. What an excellent escape from Sean Murphy. Judged to perfection. Good shot, says O'Sullivan. Well, he's back in trouble. Another good safety, not quite a snooker this time, but still trouble. And he's brought the only safe red away from the cushion. That red nearest the middle pocket. Now, where's it all gonna finish? Where's it all gonna finish? Oh, well, you wouldn't want this red to the middle, I can tell you that. Wasn't far away, but played the cue ball back to the ball cushion just in case. Still anybody's game, this. Just one safish red. Yeah, that left side cushion. shot this ah oh, did I say big shot what a big shot terrific shot oh well you could see what it meant on his face there when that went in fantastic shot from O'Sullivan And that's brought the only safe red off the cushion. So now this frame is in O'Sullivan's hands. Yeah, Eight. probably should have won the last frame and should have lost this one, but he's got a chance to level up again. I think that's right. what's making this final so exciting is that there's been a lot of shudders. <laughs> Yeah, snooker is one of those sports where the oh. mistakes creep in. It, it becomes more exciting to watch. It's the unexpected. 13. I don't think anyone saw that miscue coming on the blue. Well, this is about keeping your concentration now. Thank you. Not getting too far ahead of yourself. 21. Was pinged to the opposite middle that cost him in the last frame. No danger with that one. Could have done with being straighter on this red. Time to sip. Got to be on an angle on the pink to get back to that last red. 
28. Or blue. Looks just about right. Anything but dead on the cushion here is good. I don't want to be dead. And that's just about right again. Now, I could play up for the blue or yellow here to guarantee being on the yellow. 33. Thirty-four. Again, just about right. The right side of the blue. Now again, he's got to finish with an angle to get to the brown. There's nothing for being short so here. And he's playing it left-handed. He's overdone 41. it. But he can still get to the brown. Five colours for six all. Great red he knocked in, wasn't it, to get in? Oh, unbelievable red. Because he he was leaving a red on. Had he missed it, it was tough, but he was leaving a red on. And looks about just right. Just a good angle on the brown. He needs them all. Well, if he looked a certainty with this frame, but that miscue. It was a big turning point. It will okay. hurt this, although it hasn't quite come far enough on the blue. And a little too far for the pink for comfort. You still expect O'Sullivan to pot these, but left-handed, pressure. Right in the middle. It's a signal for that man. He looks set to go 7-5 up. But Ronnie O'Sullivan has cleared up with a stylish 66. And we're all square again. What a final this is shaping up to be. You just cannot separate these two right now. We're all square in Shanghai. Six frames apiece. Pink. Left-handed the way he did. Screw into the side cushion onto the black. Nerves of steel to be able to play that shot at such a, a vital time. Well, he's got plenty of experience of these big occasions, O'Sullivan. It's his 106th individual professional final. Looking for his 71st title. Yeah, just caught it a little bit too thin. Well, no doubt he'll take this red on. It's a very difficult one. Never easy. Now, has he left a chance at this red to the yellow pocket? Can he see enough of it? Had a good look. Not refusing anything, these two. Ooh, that was so close. Now, has he left a red to the left middle? He certainly left, well, I'm saying certainly left one to the green pocket. Maybe that red has come to save him. The red to the middle, if it goes, is easier. Does it go? Well, that's so tight. Very difficult to see if that goes. He doesn't think so. Oh, 
Oh, again, that's so close. So close. Watch the knuckles. Very valuable, those knuckles. get all of it. He stood there looking at the cue ball. Why didn't you come back out of balk there? He's screwing to the middle. A lot more difficult. That's a little smile to himself but he's still on the green. Good pot but nowhere near hard enough for the red he played for. The red he played for the one below the pink into the left corner. I thought he was going to stun the green into the middle for the red in the bork area, but... Well, I've no doubt he'll have a go at this red down the cushion. Because, as I say, they're not refusing anything, these two. That's a tough pot. Made it look easy, and now he can get to that red just below the pink. Choices of playing for the pink or the black. Eleven. The red just above the black looks as though it goes to the right corner. an angle on this red to bring more reds into play. 17. And now he's earned himself a frame winning chance with that shot. Twenty-six. The only good news about that miscue is it didn't seem to damage his tip. We saw Neil Robertson in agony yesterday. And doesn't look to have damaged his positive attitude that is he's kept. Already knocked in a couple of good balls so in this three. break. Yeah, I think that's always so been one of his strengths, Sean Murphy. He's always had a sort of sunny disposition when it comes to snooker and when things are going wrong. Of course, he did enter the uh, Open Golf 41. Championship qualifying this year, didn't he? But uh, didn't get through the, the regional qualifier. 42. We're on very much the back nine of this tournament now, this final. But after what happened, of course, in the last frame, he will be determined to make sure of this light. one. Still work to do. Fifty. Well, decision to make here. He doesn't need to go into them because the three reds that are out in the open would be enough. And he's realised that.
57. Fifty-eight. No, hasn't quite bounced high enough. Now, again, decision to make. He could play for that red in the balk area or go into them. Decided to go into them. Felt he didn't really have a choice and he looks to be okay with this red into the middle. Sixty-five. He's red in the colour. Well, O'Sullivan got very, very close to the ready attempted to that green pocket. But it didn't go in, and Sean Murphy has stepped in. Well, this is real pressure that Sean Murphy is putting on Ronnie O'Sullivan's shoulders. Letting him know that if he does go for a pot, it could be very expensive. Winning a frame at one visit. Is all you can ask of a snooker player, and he's done just that. Yeah, and as you say, more creditable considering the way he lost the last frame to that good clearance, having miscued. Just uh, completely blocked it out of his mind, concentrating 81. on this one. And he's going to be back in front. 82. Be one more frame before the last 59. interval. And O'Sullivan level again. 90. 96. So this for his sixth century break of the tournament. A very timely century from Sean Murphy. What kind of story? Showing that he wasn't overawed and wasn't disappointed by the clearance that O'Sullivan made. He would have been disappointed, but he's not showing that in this frame. He's been positive. Couldn't have played a better frame, really. Henry Leber. This is the yellow, but 111 will do very nicely. Thank you. So, Sean Murphy... Back in front in what is a thrilling final here in Shanghai with one more frame to come before the interval. He leads Ronnie O'Sullivan by seven frames to six. From 14. So Sean Four Murphy leads Ronnie O'Sullivan 7-6 in the final of the Shanghai Masters. And this is the last frame before the mid-session interval. Well, not the best break off, I'm sure there, leaving two reds on, one to the middle, one to the corner. The easiest one is one to the right middle, as long as he can avoid the reds. doesn't want to go into the reds off the black cushion. One. Well, and a delightful kiss. The two reds just above the black, I don't think either of those two go. Needs to slow down. Six. Seven. The pink just being slightly away from that pack of reds makes going into them a little bit more difficult. If you can get to the black here, um, has he come too far? 
you can get to the black and play the cannon to oh. one of those two reds. But we may have come just a touch too far. Have to play for the pink. 30. Has a slight angle. Pink going at the back of the reds, its, it's spot is occupied by the other reds. That leaves him chance at this red into the left corner, but he's going to have to really get a lot of action on the cue ball to screw that cue ball out of the reds and back down to the blue. But if it comes off, it could be a frame winning chance opening the reds up. 19. But needs a lot of power here. Well, he's done well, but only nudged two out. <coughs> yeah, he could do with being on the black this time, but again, he hasn't quite come far enough. 25. So back down for the blue. Twenty-six. And nicely on it. Now, if you can go into the reds here and miss the red nearest the pink spot on the left, he should push a red towards that left corner. Well, I thought he would have played that shot, but no need to because he's on this red, although he hasn't bounced Little high one. enough. So tier two. And made absolutely sure he's the right side of the blue. And it's a similar type of shot to the last time. If you can miss that red on the left. Nicely done. And he's pushed it towards that left corner. Now does the black go into that right corner pocket? It makes a massive difference this. Having a good look at it. Well, on the pink, uh, he'd like that red just next to the black to go into the right corner. And it must do. Well, hasn't it worked these so well so far? But he's got to keep it going. Yeah, it's like watching someone completing a jigsaw puzzle, isn't it? Putting all the pieces in place. 45. Great chance then to take us all square going into the last interval and set up a really thrilling finish. 53. Both players bang up for this, both players attacking, playing some great snooker joke. Yeah, that's what I was about to say, funnily enough. <laughs> They're both up for it. Neither one given an inch. It's a fantastic final, this. Really is. Yeah, punch and counter punch stuff. Sixth. And this looks like a very Sixth swift one. frame indeed. This black, and Murphy needs a snooker. Got to make sure of it. Well, that's what you call a quick kill. 68, 69. So this best of 21 frame final is effectively now best of seven. Keeps going to the well. Sullivan and keeps finding water. <coughs> Where does it come from? 
But one, one place it comes from that maybe people don't appreciate is the amount of work he does. You know, he doesn't just turn up you know, four months after the World Championship with his Q. He's been practising and he clearly wants it as well. You wouldn't think he wasn't much sharp, would you? This is his first tournament since the World Championship. And as David said, <clears throat> he's well and truly up for it. As is Murphy. 91. Yes, of course, Ronnie O'Sullivan has seen Judd Trump take the limelight. In recent times, world champion, world number one. Murphy made a century in the last frame. 97. And looks like... And Sullivan is going to return the favour. Anything you can do. Well, this is a seriously good match now. And Ronnie O'Sullivan once again responding. Doesn't it just set it up perfectly for when they come back after the Number interval? Five. And I think they'd both rather stay out there without an interval now. They're both playing well. 108. Totally focused in the zone, both of them. Seventeen. Well, this has been every bit as polished as Murphy's 111, although this looks set to be a total clearance. Fabulous stuff. 130 from Ronnie O'Sullivan. So they resumed level at five frames all, and they go to the interval level at seven frames all, and this final still too close to call. First to 11 to win the £200,000 first prize, and we're all square at seven apiece at the interval. So no more intervals, it's all about the next hour or so, who can get to 11 first? They resumed level at 5 all. It's now 7 all as the players come back from the interval. Real high standard in this final session. Thank you. Frame 50. Including to break. a century apiece in successive frames. Ronnie O'Sullivan to break off. It's 7 all. They each need four for victory. Well, brought that red out to the right side of the table, but can Sean Murphy see enough of it? Well, there's just a slight disturbance, I think. Referee Zheng Weili looking to sort it out. Well, he could see enough. Got second prize, hasn't left anything on. Except an easy safety. Oh. <laughs> I don't think he played that. No played the cue ball where it is. That's another very good pot, that, from O'Sullivan. So easy just to have rolled up behind the yellow. Five. So easy to have escaped from it and not left anything. Well, it's still that same attacking game, isn't it, that they've both shown? I mean, he misses the brown, he's leaving Murphy this red, but he didn't miss it. 
And that's one of the things that's been great about the match. As you'd expect from players like this, they're trying to win. They're not trying not to lose. Just come in a little bit further than, than you wanted on the pink. So he's taking the green. Maybe try and disturb something. Ah, how's your luck? It looks okay. He's definitely on a red to the middle. He would have liked to have been on one to the corner. No. I don't think he is. Ten. And now coming down the left side of the table, he's got those two reds to the right of the pink. Which could lead him to the black. Twelve. Thirteen. Well, again, doesn't need to, but he could go into them here. And look at the whiz that he had on the cue ball there. I hope we get another chance to see that shot because he had so much bottom on the cue ball. Look at the cue ball. It kind of took off. And certainly split the reds nicely. 21. Well, it's like the interval never happened. We're just back to the same quality snooker again. Twenty-six. Well, that hasn't finished as well as it could. Bridging over the reds, left-handed. Made sure of the pot rather than getting closer to the black. Nothing that Sean Murphy can do about this. He had a go at a red, thought he got it safe. But O'Sullivan fluked the red to the right middle. Well, let's say he played it. He got a terrific brown after that. Well, he held his hand up after the red, so he acknowledged it was lucky. But it was not, as you say, nothing lucky about the brown. There's pressure on that brown. It wasn't an easy pot, he knocked it in, and he's still going. Nicely on the red, to the middle. 42. Okay, made that look easy, that positional shot, but right behind it. Practically unmissable. 43. And choice of reds to both middles. Not red behind 50. the black, just causing him problems, having to play low on the black each time. 51. Just in an awkward spot, that red, behind the black. May have to play off two cushions. Screwing close to that left corner. Yeah, just caused enough problem. And now he's in Murphy's hands. Oh, he's not happy, is he? Livid. It'd be yeah. more livid if Murphy can clear up. Well, that red on the left side cushion. One. I thought could have been coming off there. But tried the next best thing, and that's moving the red behind the black. So still got a couple of awkward reds here, Sean Murphy, and this positional shot. Is not straightforward. I'd have 
Glad to have been closer to hey. this red. Far enough for the blue, but he's on the pink. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. And now the hard work begins. Missable shots these at this stage of the match. But he might just be able to leave an angle so on the black to bring that red off the side cushion. Oh. Got to get the red first, so. so and as I say, they're so not the always easy at this stage of the match. Well, that was the red that was causing O'Sullivan the problems where it was on that top cushion. He missed the black, but he's got another chance here. And red and the black, and he would still need the last red. What? So this is the shot now. Yeah, and he's got perfect angle to bring the red into play or drop in behind it. Decisions, decisions. What does he play? Played to bring it off and missed it. Or oh, didn't quite catch it thick enough. But an easy safety, this. Eight. Red behind the black. Oh, he's played the double. Not well, refusing anything. He only needed the double, so there was no need to play out for the black. He could have played for the double and left the cue ball closer to the cushion. Just in case he missed it. Where he's left the cue ball, he's invited Murphy to take this red on. Now where's it going to finish? He needs it dead on the cushion. Well, he's hampered by the green. It could have been a lot easier, this. Another dramatic frame. This is what he's looking at. Very thin snick on the red. It is frame ball. And it is in. Well, a great shot, that, from O'Sullivan. Hampered over the green. Completely forgot all about that black that he missed. Well, sure, Murphy had a chance. Missed that red to the same pocket. O'Sullivan missed the black too. Five. And then a tougher red that he took on and set up this chance. Seven. So O'Sullivan is going to be in front for the first time since he led 4 3. Every frame huge now, but in the next one, of course, he'll be looking to really put the pressure on Murphy by opening a two-frame gap. 19. Twenty-five. So another eventful frame in this eventful final. It's advantage Ronnie O'Sullivan. On another day, Murphy may have cleared up, but it's O'Sullivan, to his great relief, who edges back in front here in Shanghai. It's now 8-7. So for only the second time 
in this final. Ronnie O'Sullivan is in front. He led 4-3. He now leads 8-7. Could have done without that kiss on the green. Murphy with a chance. Right to the left corner. But not easy by any means. Needs a bit of luck. That red coming down the table needs to stop. Otherwise, well, it's still on. Uh, let's just see how he plays this shot. Could play the cue ball back to where it is now. Could play up for one of the ball colours to take the pressure off the shot. Led it up the table into a safe area just in case he missed it and that took the pressure off the shot a little it's never easy that red Just crept past the green, he'd have had him stone cold. And as, as it is, I think he can get to the red just below the pink. <laughs> and that's a good safety, excellent safety, cutting off the left side of the reds. want the kiss on the green and that's left a red on but lots of danger attached to, to this there's no color cue balls going into the reds so not a lot of value in taking this on I know they haven't refused much but and there's no value at all sometimes I should turn your nose up well, he put everything into one basket there, and now chance for Murphy. That's the trouble, I suppose, when you think and know that you can pot everything. You don't expect to miss them. Oh dear. Well, fortune favouring the brave, the last shot. He's back at the table, O'Sullivan. After that misread to the middle, it may have dipped a little. I missed it by a distance, really. 
big moments. It's an emotional roller coaster, isn't it? I mean, Sullivan was swiping his cue and shaking his head as he went back to his seat, but he's right back at the table again. One. And the high value colours, just the pink to play with at the moment. But he can build a really nice lead by taking pinks. Just over run. It's right for that red, just to the right of the pink. to the left the one that's stopping the pink going into the left corner he may not be able to get to that red this time round but if he can I'm sure he'll be playing for it Ten. always takes the reds that freeze the colours into the pockets so Sullivan Eleven. never avoids it if he can help it Something. Eighteen. Twenty-four. A little switch to left-handed. Now if you can get rid of this red to the left corner, that's stopping reds going into that pocket. Doesn't really want to play for the black. So he won. I wouldn't be surprised if he tries to get onto the pink. 32. And what a nice way to get onto it. And when he takes this red, it frees the, that red by the black spot into the right Super corner. And it's looking good, this, for O'Sullivan. Super nine. Yeah, and he was in bits, wasn't he? <laughs> Briefly in his seat. Well, he won't be happy with that. He may have to go down for that red in the bulk corner, uh, bulk area. Is he too hard? He's overdone it, has he? I think he has. 45. Wow. So the red that he potted previously didn't finish on the pink. Well, I did say it was a roller coaster of emotions, and suddenly he's in bits again. Well, doesn't want to bring that red off the left side cushion, which he's looking at. Doesn't really want to take that long red onto the right corner, because if he misses it, he's leaving reds on. I suppose he could come off the bulk cushion and play that red in the bulk area, push it to that left side cushion. That's one option. And that's another one. But he hasn't played it well, he's left the red on. He didn't get that cue ball close enough to this red. It wasn't a good safety shot, that. If this goes in, 
There's only one safe red, that one by the blue. Not easy. Yeah, nicely played. But not ideally on the pink. Another big shot for Murphy. Looked at the green. Looking at the pink. And they're both difficult. Yes, and he's 44 behind, so if he doesn't pot this, he knows it could be frame over. Needs a bit of luck, so and this time he didn't get it. Well, as you said, it was a big, big shot, this. Particularly with the position in the match and the standard of snooker we've seen. So Sullivan, 44 to the good. This, of course, was the red that failed to get on. The moment that he broke down initially. Doesn't want to touch that red near the blue. And that's not the best angle to get to these three reds just by the black. Well, that helps pushing the red towards the cushion. Sullivan doesn't need it. Slam that pink into the middle to create the angle to get that cue ball where it is. Ten. And again, didn't Eleven. want to play for the black, which he would have done had he needed the black to come back onto its spot. Just needs the pink. So it's looking like 9-7. Yeah, he's dodged a bullet there for sure, Ronnie O'Sullivan. 17. Well, if this frame was big, the next is huge for Murphy, because if it goes 10-7, then it's a real tall order. Because one thing's for sure, just looking at the body language, O'Sullivan wants this so badly, this title. As I say, he's been away, he's seen Judd Trump and others take the limelight. 25. But he's back and determined to win his first title of the season in his first tournament of the season. Sean Murphy then suddenly with it all to do. Another very interesting frame, and it's gone to Ronnie O'Sullivan. Sean Murphy had an outside chance, missed that green. And O'Sullivan happy to be able to mop up. And for the first time, lead by two, it's 9-7. Ronnie O'Sullivan leads Sean Murphy 9-7 here in the final of the Shanghai Masters, so he needs two more to complete a hat-trick of title victories here. I think most people would agree Murphy needs this frame just to stay in touch. Well, he 
as you say, big trouble if he doesn't win it. I missed it on the thin side to get that cue ball back into the bulk area. And the long red to the left corner. If he could get to the black from it, it's worth taking on. Oh, wonderful shot. Played that cue ball to the middle pocket area so that he didn't leave anything on had he missed it. And he's on the blue. What a strike of the cue ball that is. I mean, the, that red just flew in the middle of the pocket. Choice of reds here, one to the left corner, one to the right. Six. Not straightforward either of these reds and well taking the red that I didn't think he would but if it goes in he's on the black and not well, left anything six. if it doesn't so good choice Played off the red thick to avoid those two reds over the left side. Safety now, all important for Murphy. Cannot afford another mistake. And that red going towards that right corner. And although he's got a good cue ball, just be able to pot this red and if you can pot it without the cue ball going into the reds worth taking on good pot oh well went into the reds but he's on the pink very difficult these shots when you're so close to the object ball Yep, good pot. Seven. Eight. Just a little bit heavy. I think he played for the red into the left corner. 11. And he'll probably still take that red to the left corner. And this is a lot more difficult than it could have been. Another great shot. Where does he keep getting them from? Choice of brown or pink. Now, if he takes the pink, that red by the pink spot will go to the right corner.
building a lead. 18. Plenty. And that red behind the black stopping him going into the pack of reds. Six. A little switch to left handed. Yep. Seeing something on the white. Doesn't want to kick at this stage. Nothing he can do at the moment. Except hope. And try and prepare himself in case gets back to the table 27. and it all depends on this shot it's got the angle to go into them 27. and look at that for a split he's on one to the left middle maybe one to the right middle as well so therefore these couldn't have split any better could they Forty one. that he plays 48 going perfectly 49 55 the lead 16 with this blue red and a black would be enough 54 not even thinking about the score because he's going back for the blue again which means he needs another red. It shouldn't be a problem. He's the right side of the blue. 50. Could have done with being closer to this red, though. 60. Last chance for Murphy for something to go wrong here. And in goes the red. So it's going to be 10 7. He's made his move. And he needs just one more for the title. Another brilliant frame. Another quick kill. Six to eight. And it could well be another trophy shortly. If he does win this uh, final, his career prize money will go over £11 million. Pounds. Worth every penny. 74. 75. Yeah, the difference between the really top players and the ones that are trying to get there. Mental attitude. Bottle, for sure. And that determination that they want to win 81. so badly. Not scared of losing, but not fear of 82. winning either. Just wants to win. It's interesting as well. He said all the right things this week. He's been, we've seen him in the arena signing autographs. He's been the model pro. He's come here to do a job. 89. And he's very close to achieving that now. Uh, just a, a brilliant break again. Chance for a second century of the final for him. Ninety-seven. Ninety-nine. And green is for the century. 
Well, just brilliant. Just absolutely brilliant and warmly appreciated by this audience. We're getting used to seeing Ronnie O'Sullivan winning the Shanghai Masters. He needs one more frame. It'll be three years running. And done it in so much style. Got that cue ball on the proverbial tanner. Well, he's going to take some stopping now, clearly. Because he's dished up again, 124. His second century of the final leaves him just one frame away from clinching the title. Sean Murphy cannot afford now any more errors at all. Ronnie O'Sullivan leading in Shanghai, 10-7. Dignitaries are starting to file into the front row. <laughs> Maybe they're sensing this could be over soon. Can't even leave this long red on to the left or right corner. And if you can see this one to the left corner, that could get him to one of the bark colours. A uh, chance for Murphy. Not an easy one with the black kind of tied up a little. Yeah, good pot and did well to hold that cue ball the right side of the blue. And they come down for that red just above the black. And if he leaves it high, he can screw onto the other red and develop the black. Six. Just about Seven. had the angle but missed the red. Too much screw in the cue ball. He just about had the angle to catch the red. And left with a difficult pink if he decides to take it on. Can't afford any more mistakes. So don't blame him for playing the safety. Make O'Sullivan earn his chance. There's a red on to the right corner. He can play it with safety in mind. Whoa. Yeah, great shot. Whoa. Needs a bit of luck. Would you want this brown at this stage of the match? If he misses it, it could be over. He's had a very positive attitude, though, hasn't he? All day, all week, in fact. And in it goes. Yeah, good shot because it's okay potting them when there's other frames to go, but to do it when it could be the last one, it's a good shot he's played there. And that's another belter. That was an absolute belter of a shot from Murphy. This is what he needs. The Murphy Stampede. Well, it's certainly the case that the shoulders have not dropped. He's going to fight all the way. Ah, oh, good brown. Great red. 
14. He may be able to hold for the black, but 21. it's not a problem to go down for the blue, as long as he gets the right side of it. Twenty-two. Like that. He wasn't sure whether he could play in this tournament. He uh, had a rather bizarre injury. He was dancing with his son to Disney's greatest hits at home. And uh, just felt some bit go in his leg, but thankfully it wasn't serious. And that does him a favour. Knocking that red to the left side cushion. Super five. Eases the pressure somewhat. Super six. Well, this is the way, if he is to win this final, that he will do it by really throwing everything at O'Sullivan, attacking, but most importantly, not missing. Just the right amount of side to give himself choice of reds. Fifty-two. So he needs the black and another red, and he's pulled one back. Well, just letting Ronnie O'Sullivan know he's not out of it yet. Sullivan's going to have to win this. Played a couple of good safety shots in this game. Refused the pink to the left middle in favour of the safety. And it's proved to be the right decision. He knocked in a super long red and should win the frame from it. Let's not forget the brown after that and that beautiful cannon he played to release the black. Showing his true fighting qualities. Sean Sixty Murphy. Five. 66. We've been played at some pace as well this final. We've had eight frames now in this session in two hours with an interval. 73. 74. 81. <laughs> 82. Waiting to see what I've got on the red. <laughs> he would, he didn't pop the black. But 82, exactly what he was looking for, a frame winning break. He extends the final, and Ronnie O'Sullivan still one away from victory. He's now leading by 10 frames to 8. The corner, not a good break off that from O'Sullivan. 
and that's a let off. That's a real let off, but at least he's got second prize. He hasn't left anything easy for O'Sullivan. Well, I said nothing easy. And that was a great pot hampered over the reds and well it could have gone better. Played for the red to the left middle. Four. It's not enough pace in the cue ball. Doesn't make any Five. difference. No choice to go into the more play for that loose red. This crowd really enjoying this match as are we. I'm sure you are at home too. Ten. Eleven. Eighteen. Nineteen. Well, he's got the angle to do both. Play for the loose red. I'll go into them and try and draw that red towards the right corner. Twenty-six. So again, left the angle. He could play the cannon to the loose red. And that hasn't worked out. 34. Very rarely he goes into the pack of reds and doesn't finish on one. Well, relief for Murphy that he's coming back to the table, trailing by 34. He'd like to take that long straight red on, but can't afford any mistakes. So I'm just playing the safety. It was a safety that went in the frame in the last frame. You can hear the pin drop. 
Yeah, hi there. Yeah, it's, it's definitely added to the week having such good crowds. Of course, in the ranking events, because they take so many players, there's so many tables that what crowd there is tend to get spread out. But here, of course, most of the week we've had just two tables. Well, played that red hard enough so it came away from that left corner. And that's what he was concerned about. Playing that same shot but leaving the red on. Yeah, that's another good safety. Cutting off the right side of the reds with the green. He's thinking of playing back at the table from that red just below the pink. And it's dangerous that because he's had a look at where the other red's going to go and it could go over that left corner. He's took the risk. Yeah, there is a shot to nothing on. Got to avoid that red nearest the right side cushion. But looks to have the angle to avoid that red. And in it goes, and he's avoided the red. He's played a good cue ball, though. That's the only problem Look where the cue ball is. And very difficult to land up to a colour. Maybe push a colour safe. Well, with that little flick on the blue, the green has gone into a relatively safe position, which will suit Ronnie O'Sullivan. Well, every time Murphy comes to the table, he's mindful that it could be his last shot. Trails by 35, O'Sullivan needing one more frame for the title. He's misjudged that one, but he's found the gap. Wow, that was very fortunate. Well, how on earth has he got through all of, all of those? Not out of the woods yet, though. And I think he can get to this red down the cushion. Pink does go to the right corner. But maybe screw back for the blue or yellow just in case he misses it. What? And that's okay. It's nicely behind the blue. Six.
Seven. Two straight on the red to get the right side of the blue. So left himself a nice angle on the blue to be able to come in and out of Bork. And the pink does go to the right corner, but the only problem is if, if you can't move that red away from the pink spot, it would go down onto the green spot. He doesn't really want that. Thirteen. Black doesn't go into either pocket. Well, it may go to the right corner. find out here if it does or not. Nancy. Twenty. Doesn't want to be straight. That makes things a little bit more difficult of the the eyebrows just Letting us know that he didn't play a good shot there. Twenty-five. Good 26. recovery. It's got the pink back on its spot, makes things easier. 32. So this way. So five points the lead. Forty. Doesn't need the difficult green if he takes big colours with these three reds. Well, he's looked very cool, hasn't he? In face of the onslaught, Ross Sullivan made 82 match frame Murphy. 48. Made sure of being high on the red, uh, on the black, so he could get to the last red. And he's missed one of these along the cushion. And that's not the ideal place. A couple of inches too hard. 55. Nerves of steel. 56. Yeah, that was a huge shot and just needs the black. And O'Sullivan will need a snooker. 58. Well, every credit to Murphy. Just checking the scores, but that, they tell him that, as you can see, 28, the difference with 27 on. I like this yellow in, in its two sweet. snookers. So, can he now take us the distance? At 10-7, the way O'Sullivan was playing, he was a heavy favourite to win this title, but it's uh, got a lot closer. And he's done it in style. Two excellent frame winning breaks.
The A shot is two class, okay. And Sullivan knows what he's got to do. Can't afford to leave Murphy a chance the way he's playing. It is three. Well, we did say he can't afford to miss. And he didn't. So the plane. 90 to follow the 82 in the previous frame. Sean Murphy has pulled back to within one frame now. This match really is in the balance. It's anyone's title with Ronnie O'Sullivan leading Sean Murphy 10-9. Huge event. It's not a ranking tournament, but that doesn't matter. It's got a lot of prestige. 200,000 to the eventual winner, 100,000 to the runner-up. Sure, I'd say it doesn't matter because it matters to all the players who weren't in this event, who were when it was a ranking event. Yes, he was a little unfortunate in the last frame. He was on 34, went into the pack of reds, didn't finish on anything easy, played that, well, very difficult shot to the right middle. Didn't leave anything on from that, but he broke down. Had the split been favourable, he could have been lifting the trophy right now. That's all gone. It's all about this next frame. Sean Murphy will be determined to win it and force a decider. From Tanti. So I'm off it to break. Sean Murphy on the comeback trail. He trailed 10-7. Tail, it's now 10-9. Possible two frames remain. How many times have we seen that this week, though? The red coming back down the table. Yeah, he's got a good cue ball and managed to cover the red. Now can O'Sullivan pot this red to the left corner? Let's have a look. Can't see that one. And not let it and see the other one. Red going a little closer to the middle than he would have wanted. Well, that's another very brave shot, that, from Sean Murphy. To take that red on like he did. He knew he was leaving this red to the right middle, had he missed it. What a brave shot that was. Uh, I've said this a lot of times. I'm sure you've heard up and hear me say it, but Four. doesn't deserve to be a loser here. Five. Choices of going into them or playing for the loose ones. Well, look at that for a split. He's given himself a great okay. chance here. Didn't hold back. Caught the pink full in the face. And made sure of being on a colour by playing for one of the bulk colours. Black goes to that right corner pocket. So good could do with playing for the red over that left corner. Fourteen. Has Sean Murphy 15. saved his best for last? He's looked so determined these last couple of frames. Didn't 
play a great safety shot on Sullivan, leaving the red on to the left middle, but what a brave shot to take on from Sean Murphy. Yeah, and of course he'll picked up on the body language. You've seen O'Sullivan reacting to shots. He really wants to win this tournament. So Murphy knows that he's under a bit of pressure to do that. Particularly if he can make another big break here. Going to the decider with three big breaks in a row. He's overscrewed it. Played for the red to the left middle. Now he's in the lap of the gods. Like Does the red pass the green? No big bounces, just adrenaline. That is a real let off for O'Sullivan if the red doesn't pass the green. was about to take the red onto the right middle there. No, just the safety. So, so a let off 29. for O'Sullivan, a rare let off. That's a dangerous shot to play. He's got a good cue ball. Well, I said it was a dangerous shot to play, but what a shot from O'Sullivan. An incredible pop from O'Sullivan there. Look at this. Close to being dead under the ball cushion. Slots is in. Slots it in as nice as you please. So he gets his chance. This is an excellent positional shot. He's played for the red below the pink. Five. Knowing full well he's on the other red to the right corner. Has he? I don't think he's quite come far enough for that red. But he always knew he was going to be on this red. Still thinking so well. I wonder if Karen Wilson's watching. Of course, he was 5-1 up 
in their quarter final had chances at various points. Good one actually at 6 4 after he got a free ball. Sorry, at 5 4 after he got a free ball. That was the major scare until today for O'Sullivan along the way to the final. Tough. A year ago, he made a century in frame 20 to win the tournament against Barry Hawkins, 11 9. Well, he would have liked to have been the other side of the pink here, just to give those reds a nudge with the insurance of that red over the middle. It wasn't to be, so at some stage Thank it you. needs to give them a nudge. Twenty. And he can do it this time. could catch that red above the black and to the right. And he's OK. That red going over the middle and this one to the corner. Everything there for the taking. Doesn't need that safe red on the left side cushion. Just working things out. And it can be difficult sometimes. But doesn't need that red if he takes big value colours. 28. Well, it's a great red. Potted to get in. Murphy was in first, though, with the chance to force the decider. 35. Now it's out of his hands. Ronnie still trying to work out the scores in terms of what he needs. Well, if he takes three blocks here, well, by playing for the pink. It means he can't take the blue. Forty-two. Wiggled in. So, 20 in front, two reds, two blacks, Murphy will need a snooker. It's got to be a black note. By taking those pinks like he did, 57. He's got to get to the black. Or he needs that last red. 58. Lots of right hand side on the cue ball. If he takes a pink, Murphy can tie. 59. Now, how's your doubling? Doesn't need to play for the black. 64. Drop the cue ball in behind the black. He knocked one in earlier, didn't he? But this is for the title. <laughs> and in it goes. And he is delighted, little clenched fist. He's been up for this right from the first match. And for the second season in a row, he starts his campaign by winning the Shanghai Masters. 72. And he's been put under it, hadn't he? Murphy was coming back strong. 74. Unbelievable, really unbelievable. 77. Well, he's just still an extraordinary figure in our sport. He divides opinion like a lot of extreme characters. Some people think he could do no wrong. Some people think 51. he could do no right. The truth, as ever, is somewhere in between. What remains true is that he is an incredible player and an incredible champion, and he's responded to the pressure here of the Murphy comeback. An incredible style. Murphy played so well all week. He played great stuff in this final, but in the end... 
It's Ronnie O'Sullivan who completes a hat trick of Shanghai Masters titles. Three years running, he's won this event. Really great viewing all day between these two. A hard fought contest, and you can see just how happy he is to have got his hands on that trophy once again. £200,000 will be going his way. He gets his 28th professional season off to a winning start. He's beaten Sean Murphy by 11 frames to nine. And all that pressure and tension now ebbs away because he knows the trophy will be coming his way soon. It's another final defeat for Murphy. He played a lot better, though, than he did in the International Championship final against Judd Trump. And uh, it's a great start to the season. Obviously, he'd be disappointed. He just went wrong in that frame he was in and then played uh, safe and O'Sullivan not that great red in, made 86. And now the clamour for autographs is going to be a little uh, break until the presentation. Which and you just felt that he was going to win. It was a tremendous match. Both players deserving to win. There can only be one winner though, and it's Ronnie O'Sullivan. And you can't take a thing away from him. He's so happy. Look at his face. Great to see him happy. Yeah, and uh, now that battle is over, these two having a little chat. I'd say they're not necessarily best pals, but they've just played a great match and uh, they're reflecting on it. Well, it's good to see Ronnie O'Sullivan going over and mm. having a chat with him, to be fair, because uh, there is uh, people say that there is a bit of bad blood between them, but judging by that, there's none at all but deep respect for each other, and rightly so. Well, you don't have to be friends, you're rivals, but as you say, you know, they're both great players and uh, have contributed to... I, I suppose there's no one better than the financial director to take the check home, Simon Brownell. Miss Li Peihong will present the highest ranked bonus check to Mr. Simon Brownell. Just to reiterate, that belongs to Barry Hawkins. Mr. Yao Leng will present the highest trophy the highest break trophy to Mr. Simon Brunel on behalf of Mr. Barry Hawkins. Thank you, Mr. Brunel. Thank you. And congratulations to Barry Hawkins. Now we have the runner up of the 2019 Shanghai Masters, Sean Murphy. Well, regardless of the fact that he was runner-up, he's already earned this season more prize money than the whole of last season. So it just shows you what a great start he's made. Playing good stuff, a lot to build on. Hundred thousand pounds is the runner-up prize. Miles Pierce from World Snooker presenting that. Mr. Pierce, please remain, please remain. We will invite the Chinese Taekwondo Association Chairman, Beijing Xinpai Jitian Fu Dong Shizhang, Gan Liantong Xian Sheng, to present our Ya Jun Ban Fa Jiang Pan. Please welcome Mr. Gan Liantong to present the runner-up plate to Sean Murphy. Let's take a group photo. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. Please take a seat, Sean. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. 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 We are going to invite the present the check to the champion, Ronnie O'Sullivan. Yes, 
What a start to the season. Three years running now, he's won this title.